Many Zoom users sometimes need to show images while conducting conferences or meetings. Zoom doesn't have an inbuilt function for doing that. As a result, users have to show a part of the screen and demonstrate a graphics editor that was used for opening the image. But it doesn't look very nice as all buttons and tools of the editor are demonstrated as well. We'd like to show you how to show pictures using Delphi without any additional elements of the program image viewer. Let's create our new VCL project. We need to add the image component to the form. In the properties of this component, let's indicate L client for the align property. In such a way, our component will be automatically expanded within the entire form. And even if the size of the window changes, the image will still occupy the whole form. Let's also change the stretch property from false to true in order to make it possible for the image to change the sizes automatically in accordance with the window size updates. Just experiment to understand the difference. In order to ensure that our image is demonstrated without geometry distortions, in the property proportional we should indicate true. For opening images in our program, we need to place a special non-visual component open picture dialog in our form. As we want to make it so that the window will have only our image without any additional elements, we won't place any buttons there. For opening an image let's use a double click in any window area. In other words, a double click on the image that occupies the entire window. We need to choose a component image 1, then in object inspector open the events tab and find the on dbl click event. After making a double click on it, we will see a code window for writing code for processing double clicks. We need to write the following lines. We can check it now. Everything works correctly. But at this moment, our program can't open images of the most popular formats, JPEG and PNG. For having the possibility to work with these formats, it is necessary to include two libraries in uses. Let's check. Everything is great. You've probably noticed that the window size doesn't correspond to the image size. There is a part of a gray form below or on the right the image, and it doesn't look very good for demonstration. Let's remove this by adjusting the size of the form to the size of the image. Let's also envisage the case when a picture is too big, but we do not want our window to occupy the entire desktop. We need to set a restriction and to let the image occupy not more than one-fourth of the screen size horizontally. We should add the following code to the double-click handler. First, let's write a procedure that will fit the size of the form to the size of the image. Let's call it correct size. Declare two variables for easier calculation of the reduction factor. In the quarter screen width variable we will put the values of a quarter of the size of our screen. Calculate the reduction factor. Now, check the size of the picture. If it is more than a quarter of the screen, then reduce our shape to a quarter of the window. And if it's smaller, then just adjust the size of the window to the size of the picture.
Now, after the image upload code, we will execute the correct size procedure created by us. For ensuring the best look possible, let's delete the window title line and its buttons. To do it, we need to open the form properties and use the parameter BS None in border style. Our window will be always located at the top left and we can't change the position of our window or its size. In the next video, we will explain how it is possible to deal with this issue. Let's check how beautiful the photos look now that we show in Zoom.